Hey guys! And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to loom, and I'm going to be reviewing this amazing Hello Kitty Elastic Fashion Loom Set. It's for rubber bands, and it's super simple and easy. Let me show you. Comes with a cute Hello Kitty loom, lots of features, some cute little charms, over 750 rubber bands, and some instructions in case you're a beginner. So let's start opening it. So. Sometimes boxes like this can be a little bit hard to open. So how I do it is I go into corner, go into the corner from the front. As you can see right there. I just kind of dig my finger through there. Whoa! And then it just comes right out. Oh, and did I not mention this awesome rubber band holder and this hook? I probably mentioned everything else, but isn't it cute? <laughs> Look at it. It's so durable. That get Let's get this garbage out of the way. Ugh. And look, I found the little rubber bands maker. Isn't it cool? You've got four pegs on one side and six on the other. Oh look, it twists up. Isn't that nice? I love little rubber band kits like this. Here's the instructions so we can get started. Okay. to make this cool ring one. So let's try to do that. So I've got my rubber bands. And I'm just gonna open it up. Ah, geez. Ugh, there we go. Okay, so let's get this hook out first. There's a lot of tape in it. I guess that's where these come in handy. Whoa! Don't forget the rubber bands. We've got six different colors here. Six different colors, six! So, I laid them out right here. And we've got white, gray, pink, green, blue, and black. 750 bands. Oh wait, we've got a lot more than six. Yellow, red, purple, and Pink. Wait, that's a hotter pink. <laughs> so we've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was probably wrong. <laughs> I won't be needing more rubber bands for a while. Whoa! Ow, enough playing around. Let's start making our bracelet. So, if you do not have one of these guys, you do not need one. You can also use one of those spool knitters, like those little spool guys. Um, it's just a little bit harder because they're a lot smaller. This one is about the size of my thumb. So, I'm using four pegs. You can use six at the bottom if you have this set. Now, the instructions, the instructions say that maybe if you twist it, then it'll work from like, yeah. <laughs> You know, do get a twist and stuff. It's really fun to twist, and since the stickers are upright, that means that the four is at the top. So let's begin. What you need to do is get your rubber bands and place them across from each other. So you go like that, and like that. And then you place one rubber band, or you can push those down first and place one rubber band on top of all of that on all of the pegs. Now guess what's the next step? Whoop. I got this hook from the set. Now it's really nice because it's full plastic. Choo choo. And it's got a hook at the end. Oopsies. And at the other end it's got a knitter. Whoop. For in case you need to go into those deep crevices in the spool. So of course the next step is to uh, insert your hook under and grab the bottom band just like my American Girl fishtail bracelet video except it's on a spool. So you bring the bottom one rubber band and pull it over the top. I think it's easier with the side. 
Ayunya. Hmm. Oopsies, hold on. There we go. The next step, of course, is to take another rubber band. You can do a pattern like black, pink, blue, or pink, blue, pink, blue, or whatever you want. And then, of course, we're just going to bring one rubber band over all four pegs and bring the bottom band over the top again on all four pegs. And repeat this step until your bracelet reaches the desired length. See? Ta -da. We will be right back after these messages. Are you tired of your hair being too frizzy? Then you need the Cutie Pie Hair Dryer. As you can see, my hair is beautiful, but some people need the hair dryer. So, just, oh no, no, no. Ah! Ah! It's very strong. Ah! Ah! Thank you for watching Cutie Pie Messages. Back to you, Cutie. And once you are done, you can go ahead and remove those rubber bands off the loom. And you've got your bracelet. Now, as you can see, it looks a little small for to, to fit me, but these brace rubber bands stretch a lot. Sorry, this looks messed up a little bit there. So once it's off, you can take your cute little charms. Oops, sorry, wrong way. Or you can take an S slash clip. These clips help keep your rubber band uh, bracelets from falling apart. So what I did was I took the wrong end of my hook and inserted it into all the loops. Once you've inserted it into all the loops, you can go ahead and take your S-clip and insert it into all of those rubber bands. Or you can take another one, slide them to the hook side, and pull them all through onto another band. Then take your S clip and clip those two rubber loops. <laughs> it's only one rubber band, but it's two loops. So you're gonna put it on the S clip so it's attached and then you can attach it to the other side, which should be a couple of loops that you can just attach it onto there. Oops, I missed one loop. There we go, and there we go. Once you're done with your bracelet, go ahead and try it on. Mine fits perfectly great. You can add a charm if you want by attaching the slip knot onto the uh, S clip instead of the rubber band. And then you, you can put your charm on there any way you would like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Like my bracelet? Cute, right? Anyway, it's time for Cutie Pie Extras. The thing I love most about this Hello Kitty set is it comes with an adorable Hel Hel Hello Kitty store box with this cute little inside nose there. And I just love to store my bags of rubber bands that aren't used yet, plus my hook, my charms, my S-clips, and of course my loom. Make worms! Then you can close it, and it's ready for store. Thanks for watching!